focusing on you. Innovations in modern medicine from your team of experts at UHealth, the University of Miami Health System. For as long as he can remember, Howard Gitlow has suffered from debilitating heartburn. Myriad over-the-counter and prescription medications never fixed the problem. Finally, he came to UHealth. He underwent a esophageal manometry uh, that looks at the pressure of the esophagus, and we were able to diagnose a dysfunction of the lower esophageal sphincters. U Health neurogastroenterologist and motility specialist Dr. Iljun Peg told Howard his heartburn was a symptom, not a proper diagnosis of the real issue. He referred Howard for endoscopic surgery to repair his esophagus. A lot of our patients, once we're able to provide the adequate treatment, will have a dramatic change in lifestyle. It was actually life changing. I mean, for the first time in like 20 years, I could drink a beer. Using advanced technologies, GI specialists here at UHealth are better able to diagnose the root causes of common conditions such as acid reflux and heartburn. Each patient is different. Some patients have a esophageal sensitivity and they feel each acid reflux episode. Some patients will not even feel problems in the esophagus like heartburn regurgitation and they will feel in the throat, for example. Some patients will have chronic voice issues. So in terms of the technology, we pinpoint the problem and recommend a targeted treatment. To find Dr. Paik to me was like getting a new lease on life. With the expansion of UHealth's GI motility program, an additional lab, new diagnostic tools, and minimally invasive treatment procedures will now be available in Miami and Coral Gables at the Lennar Foundation Medical Center. There are only a few laboratories in motility certified by the Neurogastroenterology Motility Society of the United States, and we're one of five in, the, in Florida. Not a lot of uh, GI motility providers are able to provide minimally invasive uh, treatment not just doing the diagnosis, but actually doing the treatment. We're trying to work as a multidisciplinary uh, group, so we partner with a lot of our surgeons, ENT and pulmonary doctors to provide a multidisciplinary approach 